Happy Pride. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> it's going to be a long month. It is going to be a long <laughs> month, but an exciting month. But a very a exciting, very exciting month. month. Yeah. Uh, we kick off things first with the KC Pride Fest, right? With our float. We're in the parade this year with a float. Which is uh, with a Disney theme. Yeah, it's a Disney theme, but we can't, we can't, we can't reveal much. that. Right. So we have that. We're going to be performing with um, some of our, our sibling organizations here in Kansas City during the Pride um, Festival, which is going to be a little fun. And then it is a ramp up week to Disney Pride in concert. Okay, so let's talk about, so this is Sean Cullen, uh, the Artistic Director and Conductor for the Heartland Men's Chorus. My name is Mitch Weber, I'm the Communications Manager. And Sean, let's first kind of start with how did we get to Disney Pride? And, and you know, a lot of people might be thinking there's a lot going on politically, uh, but I think it's safe to say this all started before any of that. Oh, yes. So this is the brainchild of uh, the Boston Gay Men's Chorus. Uh, when COVID happened, they went into um, a very creative planning process with Disney to come up with this first of its kind uh, experience for any LGBTQIA chorus in the country. Uh, they premiered it in June of uh, 2022, which was just the last year. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we saw that, we knew um, that this was something that we wanted to bring to Kansas City. Um, it's a first of its kind family friendly event where we celebrate everything Disney. So everything you can imagine from all walks of life is going to be in the show. Okay, let's uh, jump right into it because I know we've gotten a lot of questions and I know you've gotten this question. How How is this pride? How is, how is Disney and what we're used to uh, with Disney from the, from the films to even the Pixar animation, how is it themed with pride? Sure. So, you know, I think that the universal theme of, of Disney is always um, love, family, perseverance, um, finding yourself. And I think that those universal themes impact the LGBTQIA community just as much as they do anyone else, if not more. Right. Um, members of our community often struggle to find um, identity. They're oftentimes kind of shunned away for being a little bit different or being unique. And Disney helps celebrate those differences and allows us to then turn that lens on ourselves and our community and say, we should be celebrated too. And, um, you know, Disney has long been an advocate of LGBTQ people um, from, from the way that they've really embraced our community and our uniqueness and families. And it's only recently that um, politics have gotten involved and Disney has come to bat for our community. So we're able to, in this performance, shape uh, the different journeys that the music will take us to with our own narrations and our own stories about how we uh, have been impacted and changed by the music and the storytelling of Disney. And it's also, I think, interesting. I'm also performing. I'm part of the chorus. And I also think it's interesting when you kind of look at some of these songs through our eyes. Yeah. Uh, they really do fit. And I think they can fit a lot of different people, no matter what community you're in. Uh, you can kind of relate to some of the struggles. Uh, Absolutely. We Are Outcast. Uh, that was a song I wasn't even familiar with. Yeah, from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. yeah. And it really fits. Sure. And I think that no matter who you are, there's been a time in your life where you've felt X, Y, Z. In this scenario with Hunchback, uh, the story of Quasimodo being, you know, damned to a, uh, a bell tower for being different. And then only wanting to uh, really be a part of everyone else and, and, and be a part of the people of the town and all of, all of the happiness that that brings to be feeling like you belong to something. Um, we, I don't want to give away too much stuff, but I mean, if you think about the story of Hercules and going the distance, if you think about Mulan uh, going uh, through a self-identity process going against the grain and then really owning who you are and coming through the other side being that stronger human that we all strive to be. Yeah. I think those are universal stories that are going to shine really bright in this in this show. Mm -hmm. 